to be doing a week with us on test week. Yes, we have our test on September 15th, well, September 14th and 15th. And then, you know, we get like a weekend and then we go right back to it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog. So <sighs> Jessica's at her house and I'm at my house. Y'all, we don't live together. We're not roommates. Like, no, I live by myself. She lives with Tracy. So we're basically gonna just be doing, or we're gonna be showing you guys what we do in the morning and then we have a class meeting at 12 um, to talk about our step one board exam. So we will see each other at 12. Prior to that, I have some things to do, I have some errands to run. So you guys will probably be coming with me. Are you guys excited? No? Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just show you guys my outfit of the day and then we'll go eat some breakfast. You're worthy, you're beautiful, you're competent. <laughs> Let's get this day started, okay. All right, so now that that's done, so clearly, you know, a little bit of a of OTD. I'm being real basic today, y'all, like I'm tired. But here we go, a little athleisure. What athleisure wear, you know? Excuse me, I'm just even. Okay, so outfit of the day, I have these shoes from Target, you know, I have this really um, ripped jeans. I got this from American Eagle, and then I got this shirt <laughs> from Nike. You feel me? So there we go. I hope y'all's day is going well. I hope you got a good start to your day. And just come along with us as we start our. All right, y'all. So I propped y'all up. So basically, my morning this this morning is a struggle. So I am probably going to be <laughs> eating some random Quaker oats. Um, if you don't your oatmeal with the... Oh, with almond milk, what are you doing? Nothing right, that's what I can tell you. So I'm gonna pack my lunch real quick. I meal prepped last night. So you know, meal prepping makes your life so much easier, guys. You should do it. So I meal prepped last night, so I don't have to worry about cooking dinner this week, so that's good. And then y'all saw, like, I had a like, little breakfast. I also made some kolaches yesterday. And then we heated it this morning. We say steady, just fine. So yeah, no prep your breakfast and your dinner. You know, lunch too. I really we we're getting free lunch today, so we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, next life so much easier. Nice. Okay, so Never warm oatmeal, <laughs> and it'd be like bubbling over in the uh, microwave, and you gotta catch it real quick. That's my life. That was, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, so basically I use almond milk for my oatmeal and then I just take some cinnamon and call it a day. Chit chat. You guys like my cup? Fiercely flawless. Today I was supposed to go to. Um, so I'm doing some research with my with, with the med faculty, and we were supposed to go to this clinic today. But I thought she said 10, so I was like waking up early at um, 8 a.m. to go. And she told me it was at 12, and 12 was at the time, the same time we have a required meeting for class. So I'm just like. Mm. Mm. Power. I'm not exploring anything for none of y'all. So power was so good for like Saturday night. I legit stayed up till 5 a.m. watching it. But do practice questions like I did. 
I got through my quota. I usually try to do 40 questions a day. So guys, I'm in my this right now, getting my old change. Luckily, I'm like the only one here, so they'll be getting my, they'll start like working on my car ASAP, so that'll be done in time. I might as well just study, so I'm gonna be studying gastrointestinal. It's like 53 questions, or 50 questions in here on GI stuff, so I'm gonna try to be productive while I'm here, do some questions, and then hopefully by the time I'm done, they will be done, so, yeah. There have been times where I had to run and take that L and like look like a dweeb running for the bus, and there's been, there's like been, I think once or twice where I've like missed the bus and just had to just take my L and sit my down at the station, but um, what was it, last week I ran and the, <laughs> the driver stopped for me, y'all. I'm gonna head out to the bus stop. All right, out the door we go. And I always bring a jacket, y'all, because you never know, these buildings are so cold. Mm -hmm. A dream box is here to be purchased for each of you to receive the new world. You will receive information on that. Oh, okay. Right, nice. I'm gonna go here. <laughs> <laughs> so they're giving us Maybe RX and they're giving us Euros, but oh, later on. Okay, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not paying for it. Yeah, that's so. true. Okay, I'm a <laughs> so we're going to study at my place. We're going to be serious. No, we have we're going to be serious. Because um, last time we recorded our vlog, we were like, yeah, we're going to study. Then we went to Sephora. We're not doing that. <laughs> and then when we got back, we were tired. So we, watched, we, watched but we didn't do anything. <laughs> we literally didn't do anything. Yeah, so. We are going to, I, have, I, have, I didn't eat my lunch that they gave us because I was, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to uh, go back to my place and be serious. Because I need to watch the cheese. Yeah. Same. So, I'm probably going to do Anki and prepare because I, my thing is really sticky. Everything's like leaving my brain. It's very simple, but it's so complex. It's not complex, but there's so many so much. aspects. Yeah. And, like, everything has a different name. Like this, this colitis yep. and this. Yep. Like, everything is, everything like, looks similar. the same. Everybody got jaundice. Everybody, Everybody got, got jaundice. Everybody got nausea and vomiting and abdominal, abdominal pain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, sit down. We're going to head to my place and we'll see you guys when we're there. Okay? So one of the most common questions that we get asked is how we study um, for med school, basically. So we're just going to give like a quick overview of what we do. So basically, um, the length of our modules, they change. So once you enter the second semester of your first year, well, for us, you start doing organ systems. And so each organ system consists of three to, three to like six weeks varying on yeah. how much information is within that organ system. And um, you have, we have two exams at the end of the block. Yeah. So like right now we're in our GI module. And so this one's actually a long block, it was six weeks. So usually like we start doing, so the way the first aid is broken up, it's physiology, no, it's and anatomy, and embryology, anatomy, and then physiology, and the pathology, and then farm. So by the end of the week, we try to get at least the first pass on majority of that material. Um, and then obviously sometimes you don't get through with the first pass on that. No. The first Especially week. for GI, because it was yeah, a lot. Like, lot. Pathology was long. So we use boards and beyond to help us like learn the information. Yeah. And we use Pathoma. Um, art school gave us videos. So for they pathology, gave us Pathoma and they gave us some videos that go with it. So, so for micro and farm, sketchy micro, sketchy yeah. farm are the goat. I guess we can move the camera so we're talking like, like and see what we're talking about. Sure. Yeah. Like we said, we do boards, so we'll skip to the anatomy and physiology and all that jazz with GI. Yeah, so here's GI. Mm -hmm. So like the first week, like we said, we'll do like the we'll try to get through the most the majority of the topics mm -hmm. in um, first aid. So I start with embryology and anatomy because it's good to have that basic that you know basic mm -hmm. stuff out the way. So I'll do that, and then as I go through each page of first aid, I'm watching boards and beyond mm -hmm. so that things that are on boards and beyond that aren't in first aid, I'll write it down. Right. And so forth and so forth. And so I'll go through, highlight, do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's anatomy. And sometimes the topics aren't covered <laughs> in boards yeah, and beyond. So if that's the case, I'll use RX mm -hmm. and I'll like watch an express video over it. Yeah, RX is just another resource that first aid provides as well. Yeah. Clearly I didn't do anything. <laughs> 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 but yeah. So yeah, I get the point. We basically yeah. go through each we try to get a good first pass. Like, the goal is to get a good first pass of the material. 
try to understand it the first time. I found myself like third week and fourth, third or fourth week. If I can't sit there and explain to you a certain pathology, I'm like, okay, what did I just learn then? Like, I can't simplify it into a common knowledge type of point, then I haven't learned the material to me. So I try to like teach myself by the second or third week. I try to teach myself on my whiteboard the information and then um, do, do Anki as well. Anki is a flashcard. Um, system and Aki helps you like actively learn the material and like reinforce the information that you learned so that's a good way to do it like she said you can teach it to yourself write it out on a um, whiteboard that's what I like to do like the last week the last two weeks of school I haven't I didn't do it last week but I'm gonna do it this week it's like write everything out that I know and if I don't know something then I'm gonna like it so yeah. I have to make sure that I know if it is yeah. after flashcards by like the two probably like two and a half weeks before the test we usually start doing practice questions on our own. The important part about doing questions, like we said in many videos, is making sure that you understand why the answer was right and why the other answers were wrong. I, I just try to like, and it takes me longer to do questions. That's why like I started doing questions on my own mm -hmm. because I felt like when I was doing them with other people, they would get through them too fast, and like yeah. I like to really take my time yeah. and like go through each answer. So instead of like going through it and then reviewing at the end, after I do like one question, I'll go through it and make sure I know why I got that answer right or I know where I got it wrong. Then I'll go to the next one and so forth and so forth. And then when I do end up doing questions together with other people, I've already done quite a few. So like I feel more confident in like knowing that answer and I don't have to like go through the explanations as much. Definitely do things multiple times. Yeah. I'm not, I wasn't the type of person to like keep doing things like repetition, but honestly, since there's so much information that you need to know, repetition is key. Yeah. And I'm like starting to incorporate that, incorporate that more and more in my studies because I actually struggle with that. But like really like reading through first aid. But reading through first aid or skimming through yeah. first aid, impactoma, looking over your notes, um, doing Anki. Since I don't like to read, mm -hmm. doing flashcards is better for me. Yeah. Or like watching quick videos because I don't have to read through that information. I can watch it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just like constantly seeing that information and then questions, of course, because that helps you retain that information and reiterate it. So there's different ways, y'all, to do stuff. Every way that your friend does it is not going to work for you. <laughs> no. Um, people are going to give you a lot of information, a lot of resources, yes. a lot of different ways to yeah. succeed in med school, but you literally just have to find what works for you. Some people find out sooner than others. I found out late, but you find out. <laughs> so we're going to start studying <laughs> because you have to be serious. Um, and then maybe we'll record our fields and questions, but like, what else? Yeah, so we hope that answers all your questions on how we study in med school. Okay. For those of you who are not in med school yet, you guys can follow the same, like, study style in the sense of like doing watching lecture doing flash making your own flashcards and then doing questions like ask most of the time if your teacher has a study guide the week before the test use those to review or make um flash cards over and then some some of them will actually give you guys practice, practice questions or like old tests so use That's that true. <laughs> honestly if i use this method in college Bruh. I mean, I was pretty successful already, but I would have been, I would have been chilling. Mm -hmm. I would have been so successful, like yeah. just watching lectures, reviewing that same day the information that she just went over and like making flashcards over it. Simple, yeah. and you don't have as much information yeah. in college. So yeah, we will uh, get the study in and see y'all. This is how you do questions, guys. <laughs> Just lay up. <laughs> so yep, today we have our doctoring exam, and it's is not that hard. Like, we're not really stressed about today's exam. So the doctoring exam is obviously over GI stuff, but it's more dealing with like clinical skills and all that stuff. And then the GI is basically testing our knowledge about the gastrointestinal system, so like everything, um, anatomy, um, physiology, pathology, and farm pharmacology yeah so i'm gonna head to school good morning guys so it's friday it's the day of our exam excuse the way i look i look very rough but it's okay because today's the last day of the struggle so it's like 8 a.m i'm on my way to campus to get some last minute studying in oh it's a light though <laughs> But yes, I'm on my way to campus to get some lessons sitting in. I'm not as confident as I would like to be for this exam, but I know that God's got me and it's gonna be in his hands. So I'm trying not to worry so much. Mm -hmm. 